Hey guys, we're just going to do a, a short update on the uh, on the spa. It's uh, spa maintenance day today, Friday. Filter change, uh, clean, uh, dose with certain chemicals. Uh, but we're just going to do this in short segments. I'm not going to risk the long video uh, only, have to, only to have the camcorder to fail. Uh, and we've also resolved that situation. We're going to be doing some product reviews over the weekend. Uh, one of them will be on the uh, Panasonic HCVX870. It's an uh, entry level 4K camcorder. Um, and also we're going to be looking at the Bose Soundlink 3 Bluetooth speaker and its uh, docking uh, charger and uh, also the Zanussi um, uh, Lindo 300 tumble dryer so a couple of product reviews uh, over the weekend hopefully um, so yeah well, at the moment we are uh, just topping this up with the hose obviously it's fairly important to run that hose uh, you know through thoroughly uh, before you uh, put the water into the hot tub we're aiming for the distance between you know halfway between the upper nozzle and the lower part of the headrest there so there's a uh, fair bit still uh, to go um, I wanted to talk a couple of things really uh, today on this video uh, firstly is the uh, running costs Let's see if we can get this on film properly actually I'm going to come out of the sun a bit there it's uh, or if that will expose, I can't tell. Anyway, it says £52.80, and if we divide that by the number of days that this meter's been connected, uh, we actually get £1.70 a day, which is obviously substantially more than uh, the about a pound a day running costs that the uh, that most companies will tell you. It, I don't know whether you can see this or not. It's just really not right conditions in the sun. And I can't see on the uh, LCD screen whether they can see that or not. So yeah, I mean all of the shops we uh, we looked around quoted around a pound a day running costs. And uh, as I say, we're at £1.70 a day. Uh, we are on Economy 7 here as well. So cheaper at night, but probably more expensive uh, rates during the day. Um, so other people on different... Uh, rates will get different running costs I suspect um, but you know it's reasonable I don't know what it's going to be like in the uh, in the winter months we have uh, added one of these uh, bubble plastic blankets comes in a 7x7 seven seven, uh, foot section and you just try and cut it to uh, size best you can um, what I did was laid it out on the top of the spa cover on a nice hot sunny day, get it as soft as possible and then laid it over the spa and then just cut it out trying to uh, get all the contours right. Not easy. A um, couple of claims for it. Uh, it's certainly supposed to reduce condensation forming on the spa cover and the other one is uh, you know, reducing the running costs by keeping the heat in as, uh, as much as is possible. Uh, condensation wise absolutely no difference whatsoever um, you know whether that's just the way I've cut it out there's a little bit too much water exposed but I don't think so uh, I've done it as accurately as uh, you probably can uh, it's also very hard to put it on and off without getting any water going above the blue plastic uh, so you know yeah the the claim for condensation free spa cover is uh, is rubbish in my opinion uh, whether it's helping with the running costs yeah i don't really know uh, but we've added it it's a bit of a pain taking it on and off uh, what i tend to do is open half the cover lift out half of the plastic and rest it on it and then lift the other cover the other half of the cover off and over the side uh, and then pull the plastic up so it just hangs there and drips into the spa so probably not ideal might annoy a few people but if it helps keep the running costs down even a fraction it's, it's probably well worth 
uh, the money. Um, another product that I just wanted to briefly mention is this aerospace protectant. Um, this is for vinyls, rubber, plastics, fiberglass, you name it, it can uh, go on it. Now it claims to have a sun protection factor of uh, 40 and uh, as I've said before the weak link really is this spa cover. Uh, just in the uh, four weeks it's five weeks today that we've had it but I've had this uh, stuff a week and uh, in those four weeks the exterior of the cupboard started to look a bit tired and a little bit faded uh, although we're under a cover here this, the sun still gets onto this spa cover uh, but using this uh, 303 stuff you just spray it on uh, wipe it all over sort of buff it off and it's it just brings the vinyl back to looking well, in fact it looked better than new because it gave it a really nice silky sheen uh, all round, uh, went all over the top, all around the sides and uh, yeah looks great and uh, I think you're probably going to need to apply it probably every three weeks to just give the, the cover that brand new look. Now I might try it on this uh, fake plastic wood effect uh, material that uh, is uh, enclosing the, all the pumps and electronics. might try it in a little bit uh, where you can't see it first of all and uh, yeah see if that makes any difference to that uh, but again we've really only got uh, two sides of the spa that are you know in direct sunlight so hopefully it won't fade and being the color it, it is hopefully it won't fade too much uh, either um, so yeah running costs you know okay I think if they'd said, well, it's going to be £2 a day, I guess some people might think twice. So, you know, whether it's a bit of a sales ploy to say about a pound a day, and uh, every shop I spoke to said the same, so they're all in cahoots on that one. Um, but it's, you know, it's, it's still affordable, uh, but I'm a bit concerned what it might be in the, uh, in the winter months. So that's topping up uh, quite nicely there, it's going to need a little bit more. What I'm going to do then is, I think we'll just run through uh, and just show you how we change the, the filters on this and uh, I probably won't bother showing the chemicals. Oh yeah, I think I might do, we've, we've talked about them in, enough so I might just uh, show the chemicals uh, going in and you know maybe that uh, little rubber glove with the um, abrasive, well it's not abrasive but you know a sort of scoury pad type uh, attachment on it just to clean round the uh, round the edges. Since using the scale prevention chemical we've really reduced uh, the amount that you can feel on the on the side here at the moment you can barely feel the roughness on the on the water line but we go around once a week and clean that anyway. Um, so, yeah, okay. Well, look, that's that. I'm just going to do these in short, uh, short sections. So we'll uh, we'll get this one out of the way, and I'll uh, be back later.